Good morning. This is my morning face. I'm at my boyfriend's place. Got here late last night after going and playing some music with our friend Dan. And about to start work in about five minutes. I'm not going to be able to talk to you very much today. I might run today into two vlogs or I might not. Depends how much I end up filming. But at the moment, it's not looking like I'll film much. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. I've made coffee. I'm trying to wake myself up a bit. My bee's got a bird in his kitchen. And I don't mean... Whoops, female. Die, there's a robin in the kitchen. What shall we do? Perhaps we can open that window. Open the door a bit more. <gasps> He's pooed. Oh, that looks like it doesn't even open. Aww, poor little thing. I've got you on the vlog. You're right to be on my vlog. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Oh, well done. They just cleaned the floor and, um, yes, I better get the wet wipes out. Hmm, I wasn't expecting to be cleaning Robin poo off the kitchen work surface and cupboard fronts today. Is that more down there? Maybe. I've got most of it off already. A bit of kitchen towel. I was about to try and get that bowl out from there and I thought, looks like a game of kaplunk. <laughs> I am afraid I'm giving myself a very crap lunch <laughs> because I don't know what else to eat. So I finished work for the day. I was going to hold off on the camera until I was feeling a bit more awake because there's nothing worse for making me go to sleep than filing and processing receipts really. Anyway, after I've eaten and after Ibi's come back from where he's had to go to, we're actually gonna go to Home Bargains again. Yeah, I know, IB needs some stuff and I will never say no to a trip to Home Bargains in the car. <laughs> he's letting me film it. <laughs> IB just had a bit of a mishap with his trousers. <laughs> he bent over and it went right in the bum. <laughs> He says I've got to point out to the viewers that the trousers are 10 years old. Well, they're probably not 10, but they're several oh. years old. <laughs> it's not like they've just ripped, you know. Oh, these look nice. 49 pence for fire grill. IB's just bought himself two packets. We're sharing a trolley today. Look at all those Christmas decorations. Loads and loads and loads of them. Oh, they don't jingly jangle. <laughs> that suits you, actually. Thank you. <laughs> I think They're we might actually be seriously contemplating buying three for our yeah. Christmas gig for me, Ivy, and Dan. I don't think he's wearing it. Though. Well, what about the wings then? <laughs> might not work well with the uh, mando cello strap, though. Unless we stick it on the Mando's tr the cello the, strap. Um, that concert is, you've got the set up in costume, haven't you? Yeah, that's true. Ivy's actually got his on his face. Um, well, right. we're wondering if it's actually a decoration rather than you're meant to wear it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he wants the gold one. You could probably make one like that. Get some, Why, get some lovely twigs costume. and things. This looks really cool. Look at that, 4 99 It's like Meccano. Space Station, age eight plus. I haven't got anyone suitable to get that for. We're down the second aisle of Christmas stuff now. There's loads and loads of it. <laughs> Cute eye masks, 199. There's like a sewing and knitting section here. And you know what, these things, I, I like to make my bracelets out of those. I can't get my, I can't do it with one hand. But that's, yeah, I quite like to plait these and wear them for bracelets. But they've got a whole big tub of it, look. Would that make a nice present for anyone you know? That costs 6 99 And that one is 1 99 I'm tempted to get that, actually, to redo my bracelets, because the stuff I've got at home is a bit manky. I'm trying to envisage how this sewing pants waist extender works. I used to use a hair bobble when I was uh, pregnant, trying to get my trousers to last as long as possible before going into maternity wear. Got crochet hooks, three for £1.29, variety of sizes, £3.99 for the muslin cloths for the babies. I was looking for muslin cloth for his kefir kit the other day. Ink pads for 79 pence. Hmm, some more costume ideas for our Christmas gig. What about this then? All of us in an inflatable sound suit. We'd never fit on the stage. Let's hope we could play our instruments either. Four ninety nine for a Santa suit, or seven ninety nine for the elf suits. Christmas cards are ninety nine pence for a packet of six. What are those? Ninety nine pence. 
How many are in there? Oh, 32. That's good value, isn't it? My other half is looking very festive at the moment. I don't know if I am or not. Uh, since he put that mask on, he's been covered in glitter. It's all in his eyebrows, it's in his hair, it's all over his nose, and it's all down his top as well. Oh, these are retro, 11.99 for a Dymo Embossa. I never had one of those, but I remember kids at school having them. I was very envious. Just making simple word labels by the look of it. We're into the food aisle now or food aisles, I should say. Salted pretzels for Isabel. I shall buy those for her. Found anything? I have pretzels. Mmm, frisps. 125 for a six pack. I went and got the trolley off eBay because I'm gonna put lots of things in it while I'm in the food section. What is that? Red crocodile snacks. Ooh, noodles, three for 120. I think we'll get three then. One sixty nine for a big tin of salmon in it. It's quite a big tin, isn't it? I want some Fanta Zero, but I don't think they've got any. I think they've just got normal Fanta. I think I'm going to grab some beer for myself while well, I'm in here. So a fiver for four cans of San Miguel. Belvitas, that's £1.25. IB's gone off with the trolley again. I need the trolley because uh, I can't film and, you know, carry stuff oh these are nice 75 pence well i think they're nice they look like the ones i've had from lidl's yeah i'm gonna get some of those for a treat they got stolen for two pound 59 for a big one like that or one pound 39 for a little one i do like stolen actually is it too early to buy stolen for the christmas corner apparently not i seem to be just doing it i reckon i'm gonna top up my lolly supply because i think these were quite a good deal three pound 19 for 20 lollies <laughs> I've still got loads left to be honest, but they'll keep, won't they? 195 for halloumi. Yeah, should I pop one in for you as well? One each. I'm going to grab a natural onken yogurt, which has got the live cultures in it. I'm completely out of yogurt at home. <laughs> I must just leave that, that looks so nice. <gasps> God, that's cheap cheese and onion slice 89 page you know I can't resist I'm gonna go to Cardiff tomorrow and get my camera I had a chat to the guy in the camera shop earlier it's ready well it will be by the time I go and get it tomorrow he's gonna to sort me out with the lens I was so excited I'm just looking at the ready meals to see if they got any veggie ones but no uh, they don't seem to oh bolognese no beef are we gravitating towards the checkout yeah well that was fun I love it in home bargains Ah, oh, that moment when you come home tired after a long day thinking, I'm just gonna have a lovely long hot bath. And then you look at your kitchen and then you go, oh yeah, I didn't have time to sort the kitchen out before leaving. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're just, we're gonna do a long shot. Um, we don't need to zoom in on the contents of the sink, do we? No. And I need to put this lot away. I have done the lollies already. The lollies, this is what the lollies look like. But, ugh, they're jammed in. So you get these little chalk ices on sticks, which I'm not interested in, but Izzy loves chalk ices. So I'm saving them for her little mini ones of those and because they're so small they're not too many calories just because there's less of them basically strawberry splits and a lot of the ice lollies as in just made of ice water fruity stuff you know as opposed to ice cream so yes they are jammed in and there were still some from before And that should be dry. I hung that out just before going last time. That's what I meant to show you in Home Bargains. My homemade bracelets. It's just one very long plaited thing made of embroidery thread. And the reason I have bracelets like this is because they're so comfortable. So it's just like wearing clothes on your wrist, basically. No, you know, hard metal or anything. That's almost better. I had so much it didn't all fit in the dishwasher because it was almost full already. But I've washed up stuff as well, cleared that off, wiped the surfaces down. And I can't decide what I need more, a bath or food. So I think I'm going to have food food and I don't know what to have maybe potato cakes though because they need eating so those and something it's one of those moments when I just really wish I had a tin of ready-made dal in the cupboard and I haven't <laughs> I've got lentils though do you know I fancy a plain lentil dal with just lentils so much that I've decided to have a wild experiment I'm gonna put some oil in the pan I'm gonna add all these things to it not the uh, lemon juice till later 
and uh, definitely an OXO cube because it could be disgusting and that might just be the one thing that saves the day. And then when I've got a nice curry paste, all nice and hot, I'm gonna add the tin of lentils, or a bit of soy sauce as well, for a bit of extra saltiness and um, see what I can make. It should be quite quick, I think, because those are ready cooked, aren't they? I just realized I've got two curry powders on the go. That smells delicious. So that's what I've chucked in. You can kind of get a vague guess. Turmeric would be good. Wait, I wonder if I've got any turmeric in the cupboard. I bet I have. I'm gonna have a look for some. Yes, I have. Risky left-handed pouring whilst filming. Gotta be really careful not to get it too hot and burn it before you put your other things in. Otherwise, it tastes horrible then. <laughs> I'm just going to be really bold and chuck the whole lot in, juice and all. Well, water, whatever it is. Sorry for the rather unimaginative camera angle. I just haven't unpacked my tripod yet from what I've got back from my bees. Right, I wonder how this will be. I wonder if it'll be nice or disgusting. We shall see. I mean, things don't have to be complicated, do they, to be nice? Ooh, look what I found. It's in the coconut milk. I bet that'll be delicious. Do you think so, or do you think I'll wreck it? Well, I'm gonna put it in anyway, and we'll see. Does anybody else experiment like I do with the cooking? Or do you prefer, like, a recipe, or doing things the same? I wonder if I'm unusual. These are the sorts of things that people don't normally, I don't know, do people talk about this amongst themselves? What they do in the privacy of their own home with regards to cooking. Now, that's gonna need quite a bit of, um, simmering I think because it's gone quite liquidy now. Good news chaps, I actually went and got the tripod. Right, <laughs> bit of soy sauce, Ooh, a little bit of lemon juice for that added zing. Veggie oxo, you can't do this with the meat ones but this is how I do my oxo cubes. Only works with the powdery veggie ones. The meat ones are like too sticky togethery but I crunch it inside the foil because I find what can happen when you're holding your fingers over a steaming pot trying to crumble a stock cube in is the condensation from the steam goes on your fingers and then all the little bits of stock cube sticks all over your fingers but not so with this method oh no I just got a little sachet of powder now in it goes give that a little stir and leave it for a bit. I'm sure this would have been better with onion in. I'm gonna have a little taste. Do you know, I've been thinking this could be the last but one vlog I ever do on this camera. Well, I don't know. I'm definitely not gonna get rid of it. It might be more handy for doing filming in shops because it's a bit more discreet than the new one. That's good. Oh, quite hot. I put a lot of chili in. I forgot to put ginger in. That's ready. I can eat that now. I better get those potato cakes in the toaster. It's good, it's really nice. Okay, I just invented a new recipe. There we are, there's my simple doll and potato cakes. Uh, that I'm looking forward to it, I think it's gonna be nice. My feedback on the food was I ate it all, it was almost a little bit too much for me. It was a little bit too salty. I don't know if it was too strong or what, but I did eat it all. I think maybe I put a little less soy sauce in next time. I'm gonna have a bath now. I am looking forward to this, mm, except I just felt the temperature of it and I've run myself a lukewarm bath but that's uh, really hot coming out now so hopefully it evens up. So hopefully I'm going to have a lovely hot bath now, fingers crossed, and then I'm going to get into my pyjamas and snuggle down and edit the video. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this one, Cardiff one tomorrow, new camera! Why I'm so excited. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe for more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!